Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to do a lip swatch on the new Nabla liquid lipsticks. They have never ever had liquid lipsticks but finally they have launched some and I have already had this lipstick on which is the lightest one in the collection and I've had it on for the entire day and I can just spoil it right now that I love them. <laughs> so yeah, this is, let's see if I can open it so you can see. Ooh, damn. Uh, so this is the shade. I also got this Dreamy Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm not sure what's so special about this one from these ones, but this is the one that I have on today. And this one is called Vanilla Queen. And it looks like this. So yeah, I will be swatching these and show you guys how they look. So let's go. As already stated, the lightest shade is the one that I have on my lips today. And it is called Vanilla Queen. The next shade is called Middle Karma. And it's just a tan bit more of the brown side and darker. Honestly, you guys, these smell like a cupcake like they smell so good it's almost annoying <laughs> all right so this is the next shade and it is called middle karma and as you guys can see it is a lot more of a like brownish nude it's uh, a tad bit darker as well but same scent and feels amazing on the lips as well and looks amazing Okay, damn, I didn't record when I put this on. But the next shade is called Sweet Gravity. And it is like a darker... Is it pink or is it coral? I would say it's a darker pinkish nude. It's just as the other ones, smell the same. And it dries also very quickly, which I love. Next up is the first pinkish shade and it is called Roses. I think it's a very, very cute muted pink. It looks very summery and it looks hella bomb with my orange eyeshadows. And now it's time to try out this beautiful sky blue shade and it is called Cotton. It is a very unique color, I would say. I don't think I have anything that is like 100% like this. Obviously, this is not really what I would go for for an everyday, but as you guys know, I can wear these kind of shades. Even though I think that it makes my teeth look a little bit more on the yellow side right now, which I don't like. Um, and I would say that it is not like fully, fully opaque right now. I don't know, I think I will have to go in with a second layer to make it fully opaque, and this is the only shade that I've noticed that with. Then we have Grand Amore. Or Grand Amore? Grand Amore? I don't know. <laughs> Grand Amore. Amore? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the shade. <laughs> Alright, so this is how the shade Grand Amore, Grand Amore looks like. And it is this like beautiful rosy, rosy red, red pink. I don't know. Once again, it looks good with my eye makeup. And for me, this is like a great everyday shade if you don't want to like stick out way too much, but you still want like a cool shade. All right, now I thought we could go in with this shade that was like in the, in the top of the uh, packaging. It's called Carnell and is this like purple, like warm toned purple looks like. Ooh, this was nice. This is 100% one of my favorites. It looks so good. It's like, as I said, a warm toned purple. It's like a little bit mauve-y. I love it. And once again, it is called Carnell. Now in just like the middle of the video, I just have to say and inform you guys that I know that my hair looks like shit. <laughs> I know that it's like this seaweed greenish shade some of you already know that i'm trying to make my hair blonde like barbie barbie blonde but i actually today came up with another idea <laughs> 
So I'm just waiting for the dye to arrive and then I will actually do a video when I am dyeing my hair so uh, Yeah, sorry about my hair. I know it looks horrible, but it will look cool soon I hope if it turns out good, <laughs> but you will see that in a video next up is the neon pink shade which is something that I love and it is called five o'clock all right, so the Pink is not as neon as I thought it would be and it is a lot darker than I thought it would be as well. It still looks really really cool and I still love it. There's no pink like shade or yeah shade of pink that I don't like but I had wished that it was more neon and just a tiny bit more cool toned I think. Now it is finally time for the red shades, which I love, you guys know. Um, this one is called Rumors and looks like a classic red. Ooh, it's nice, but it's darker than I thought. I can't really say anything else about it more than it is gorgeous. It's like this perfect dark red but it's still like a hint of classic red in it okay so next shade is probably the one that will be my ultimate favorite as you guys know i absolutely love like dark dark reds this one is called unspoken and looks freaking amazing like almost like a blood red but more like a dark red with a hint of brown in it Oh my god. Okay, so this is Unspoken and I love it. I already knew that. It's gorgeous. It is just what I want. Like, it is... It is so beautiful. Like, I don't even know. It is so dark. I don't even think I have a this dark red lipstick in a liquid form when I'm thinking about it. It's my favorite, 100%. <laughs> and now it is time for the dark brown shade and it is called Coco. Okay, so this is the shade Coco and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, really, really intense and dark brown. And now for another fun and colorful shade. This one is a dark blue, dark turquoise, I think it looks like. And it is called Narcotic. It's such a cool shade. I don't think I've ever seen a lip color like this. It's like, it's so dark. It's almost black. But it's also kind of wearable. Is it just me? Like, it is a blue, but it's wearable. And it's kind of like a grayish also. And I don't even know. But I really, really like it. Alright, so as you guys can see, that color stained my lips. So now my lips has this blue tint like I'm dead. Uh, but oh well, we are actually going in with a similar color. This one is called Stronger and this is the uh, second to last shade. Is it called second to last? I think so, yes. Sure, this lipstick is like a very, very cool tone nude. So... In many cases, this would probably make me look dead, but I don't think it does. I think it looks cute as heck. If I just had some more bronzer on and was like looking a little bit more tanned, I think it would be gorgeous. It's this like, almost like ghoulish from a lace blush, but better can I say? I don't know. It's beautiful, almost like cashmere from Lime Crime as well. It is a bit darker though, but it's beautiful. Just like everyone wanted like before, like that Kylie Jenner nude, you know? And now for the last shade in this collection, and it looks like just a black, matte black. It is called Black Champagne, so we'll see. It's probably just black. <laughs> yep, it's black. <laughs> but so black though. Woo. So, yep, black champagne is just a matte black, but I must say that it is, if I dare to say, I think it is the blackest liquid lipstick that I've ever tried. 
Like I have all of the black lipsticks from like Lime Crime, Your Free Star, Kat Von D, but there's something about this. I don't know if it's the light or whatever, but I think it's just so yet black and it looks gorgeous and it feels very nice even though my lips are dying at the moment. Alright, so that is all of the liquid lipsticks that I had to swatch. What I can say from trying out all of these, I absolutely love all of the shades. I think this one, the, uh, what's it called, underground or something like that, beautiful. I also really, really loved all of the uh, uh, nude shades and I think they were so comfortable and I think that Nadla did a great job at doing their first liquid lipsticks. They smelled good, you know, I have nothing bad to say about them. So yeah, that is all pretty much. I have a lot of new products that I would love to try out. So be sure to follow my Snapchat because I will be asking you guys what you would like to see and I will take like photos of different press releases and like new stuff that I've gotten and I ask you guys if you would like to see a video on it or if you just want to see like quick swatches on Snapchat or on my blog or stuff like that. So be sure to follow me there so you can interact with me a little bit more. So yeah, that's all. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because why not? It is free and I would be super happy and I think that you would like it as well, hopefully. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a great day and I hope we'll see each other in my next video. Bye!